the inputs will be the sequence of sentences and the output will be the sequence of phrases. Sentences. So in theory, anyone who can write can create a storybook with images. So let me tell you a story. In 2011, actually 2011 was a great year for me because I got out two years of military. And if you ask any Korean guy who just got out of military, they will say, I can do anything because military was so difficult. But the reality was harsh. And I got back to my school and I was having sleepless sleep nights and I was sleeping in my studio in my working space and this is another image and I was doing that a lot and my friends made a Christmas card of me sleeping yeah so I thought I really want to focus on what I really need to do right I want to focus on idea rather than you know me sketching or doing something physical so in 2016, um, I started to learn programming and machine learning. Very exciting. And I, so as I learned it, I thought, whoa, I can do anything in different contexts. So these are recent works that combine deep learning and art and design. So you probably have seen this um, Google AutoDraw. It's based on pix to pix and there are some cool stuffs coming out, combining deep learning and art and design. So 2011, ah, 2017 is the year of NL Jeju. So when you log into TensorFlow Korea Slack page, um, sometimes you will see stories are data with a soul. And I really like this quote because you can relate data with machine learning and soul with art and design. And these two, I'm very passionate about. So this quote also appears when you try to log into TensorFlow Korea Slack page. When we tell our stories, we change the world. And so in design, when I was designing, when I was doing art, storytelling is very important, was very important. And the ease and so sometimes the most effective way to tell a story is through pictures. So that black and white photo is the, one of the most popular photo in history. It's the soldier came back from World War II and yeah, this is the most popular, uh, most famous photo. And also movie is telling stories through pictures, right? Sequence of pictures. So in my work, there are three contributions the first, we, the first one is text to image paper, uh, text to image in two dimensional. So most of text to image works are one dimensional from one sentence to one image. But in this work, I'm trying to do multi, a sequence of sentence to sequence of images. Uh, the second contribution is the architecture of my network is inspired by, uh, it's inspired from my own design process. I will tell you that later. And third, uh, third one is I want to create application combining design and technology. So one Thursday morning, I got this message. Hey, Keo, can you design a poster for Paper Day for CBPR 2017? So Paper Day for CBPR was organized by TensorFlow Korea, and I said, Sure, I would do design. So I will tell you a little bit about Keo Poster Network. So the input will be, hey, Keo, can you design poster for CBPR 2017? And this is the network. And here is the poster, which uh, many of you have seen before. Right? So let's break it down Keo Poster Network. Oh, actually, before that, what if I design a neural network based on my process of design. I already mentioned this. So um, through text processing, we can process that quote to this quote. And we can uh, take out text from this quote. And with, with these words, I can take, take out these images. So like usually when I design or do art, I do research on the topics. 
And since the CPPR 2017 was happening in Hawaii, I searched a lot of Hawaii images, such as Hawaiian flowers, Hawaiian scenery, the Hawaiian beaches, yeah. So combining all this, the CPPR 2017 is happening in Hawaii, and the images relate to Hawaii and CBPR. And you know, my previous experience of designing, reading, traveling, blah, 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 I created this poster. Sounds like neural network, right? Kind of. So this is the whole architecture I just said. And my, the story again is heavily inspired from this architecture. So um, these two papers, I was inspired by these two papers. They're text to image generation. I think the upper one is might be the first one, I'm not sure, but it's probably the first one that people know about text to image generation through GAN. And second one is text to image generation plus super resolution. So, um, so remember that I researched about Hawaii and collected pictures, right? So to, to guide me, to help me guide to design my poster. So for image search, there are six components in this network. So for image search, um, I did training on, there will be image and sentence pair, and I put image on the pre-trained VG network and text on the embedded network, and I find, found cosine similarity to train, and eventually, I would do image search. This, the result is about, well, this is just my opinion, but about 50% of accuracy. The second part is text to image and super resolution. So in text to image paper, oops, there are two inputs, right? The Z dimension and the text embed, embedding. But for my network, there will be Z dimension, text embedding, and picture to guide me through to create the correct picture. So there will be three, three inputs instead of two in text image. And I also do super resolution to make, you know, bigger for sort telling. So, um, this idea was inspired by the, I forgot his first name, but Chintala in NIF's 2016 talk. He said that if you have labels, use them. So obviously, the more labels I have, the better, you, the better image I would get, right? So this, and if you have not checked out this page and you're working on GAN, uh, this page has a lot of great information. Um, the next part is segmentation and visual analogy. So when an image is created, the two images are created, for example here, well these are not created images, these are just dogs. The consistency is very important in storytelling, right? So there is no guarantee that this dog in this image and this dog in this image are equal. So first we do the segmentation and then we try to make these two dogs same through visual attribute transfer through deep image analogy from Microsoft Research Asia. And then lastly, um, there's art, artistic style transfer. So this is experiment I did with artistic style transfer. I think this one was one of the most successful one. So just image is great, but I think if you add some style or something, some style, the, the, the storytelling will be deeper. So this is overall architecture. I know this is very huge. So I'm still currently working on it. So the input sentence will be go through the image search and image search find, will find the best image to help guiding the GAN network. And 
the image and the Z dimension and text embedding would concat and go through GAN, the generating part, there will be image and the discriminator will, de discriminator will determine if image is real or not. And there's also super resolution, segmentation, visual analogy, R6 styles transfer, and this will be the final image for, this will be one of the final image for sequence of images. So obviously in one month, doing all six is very hard. So during the, this camp, I focus on image search, text to image generation, artistic style transfer. So I've been training on GAN a lot, but unfortunately I was unsuccessful. So, uh, so I forgot to put the guiding images here, but you, as you can see, it's still training. So I'm still working on it. I'll probably update you if these get trained. I feel like GANs are very hard to train. So I trained on the visual storytelling data set, which has about, I think 100,000. I'm not, I forgot, but this is great data set if you want the image and sentence pair. Also, I would also try, try the MS Coco, which is pre-processed and waiting for the, waiting for, to train. And I collected about 1.5 terabyte of image and sentence pair from um, videos. So if you have video and a sentence, and if you split videos, uh, it would create data for the text, text to image generation. And also I did neural algorithm of artistic style. This is pretty famous algorithm. And these are the results that I got. So I put one of the Surat painting as a style image and these are actually from the, the VIS data set. So I, I think these are pretty great results. I'm pretty satisfied with artistically, but some of them are not very satisfying, such as when I put the Renoir painting, which is pretty famous. Um, the style of this painting is uh, not, not so great. So I tested on like which painting is great for the style image for my network. Also, I think this one is, oh. This one didn't come out great. So usually when I tested this, the darker images, the darker content images didn't come out great. So when I combined with the Flower Carrier by Diego Rivera, I got these images, but some of the, them are unidentifiable. So yeah, I think this is one of my favorite one. So when I test with the Gustav Klimt image, I got these sequence of images and I really like the feeling of these sequence of images. I think these, this style added more depth here. So GitHub, I still have a long way to go for story again. So I have something up, but I know GitHub is very important in Je Jeju NL. So after I, d I do more work, I will make a like short video explaining on the project, like what's what, what's in the GitHub in English and Korean. I'll, I will do that. Also for the future work, I want to finish all the components, make training GAN, uh, make GAN training very well, segmentation, visual analogy, and so on, and train more data sets on the GAN part, the text to image generation part, also, there's a difference between the descript sentence and the story, ten, story sentence. So story sentence is more abstract, right? But most of data sets are descriptive sentence. So I want to collect more abstract sentences corresponding to the images. Lastly, I want to try Google Cloud for training. So also future work, um, what I want to do is suppose um, here, I want to get 
one image, right? The input can be this image, this sentence, the previous image, the previous sentence, and the current sentence, and the result will be this image. So I want to improve on the image search part. And after I do more work, I want to do more neural style transfer. So the original style transfer paper is pretty good, but obvious, obviously, as a designer, I want to do something better, right? Something almost to the perfection. So I'll, I'm going to implement maybe this one. I think this one, so the left ones are from this paper, and I feel the left ones have great results. And maybe, maybe in further for the future, I can implement my own style transfer network. So I know I have to finish this one, but this is a long-term project. So if I can finish story again, I, th I feel I can finish, I can do a lot of things in future. So summary, I made some progress in NLJG, but still has a way to go. But I'm definitely getting there. So, and again, it's very difficult to train, and we'll try a variety of experiments to get great results. And I know most neural networks are from cognitive science and neuroscience, but maybe in other projects, I will get more inspiration from my design f workflow. And first of all, many thanks to Min Hyun. He's an amazing mentor. Uh, well, I couldn't find a picture of him, and he uses this as his Google company account photo. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Maybe Sun Sun can verify if, yeah, this is him. <laughs> um, so, working on my project is awesome, amazing, but I think the best part about the camp was meeting great people, and I got a lot of help from these people, and, you know, people not on this list, but amazing people, so thank you. Uh, thanks for the sponsors, two amazing companies and great institutions from Jeju. And lastly, um, last year when I started learning programming and deep learning, I didn't know if I can do deep learning project, but I somehow can now. So um, these two great companies made me um, going from zero to where I am right now. I have a long way to go, but I think my journey with deep learning will be very exciting. So thank you. That's all. Okay, um, we finished the Christmas exactly on time. So we have about 10 minutes left. Any uh, questions or comments, feedback? So for like style transfer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, sorry, I don't want to like bust out anyone's eardrums. Um, so uh, like sometimes like I think like, there's like the famous like Van Gogh like Starry Night example, and like, oh, yeah. if they take some image like maybe like there was gonna be like a cool like star like in like one corner, uh, but like in the story like uh, case like do you like want that star to be like in the same spot every single time you like do another transfer on like another image? I was just wondering if you had like, thought about that, or uh, if you've heard of any way to like sort of ensure that certain style features like, may, or, or like yeah, sort of maintained in the same space. Or... Um, are you talking about the image segmentation part? Image segmentation of an image, and just do style transfer on that image, uh, on that part, or uh, well, so you're like taking uh, like an, an image and then stylizing it, right? And right, you take right. like another image and then stylizing it. Right, right. Yeah, yeah. but like, how do you, I guess like, uh, can you ensure that there's like consistencies between those two oh. styles? Oh, okay. So, hmm. so, so this paper. So I would do the image segmentation of, for example, these two dogs. 
from, for example, let's say these two images are generated, right? And these two dogs are the same character, and they have to be consistent, right? So this paper does the, does the work of consistency. For example, um, in this paper, the input is this one and this one, which has similar features, but have different style. But the output is you have the same form from this picture, but style from this picture. And this one, uh, the form is from here, and the style is from here. So does that answer your question about consistency or? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Okay, okay. Uh, thanks. Yeah. Not use that. <laughs> Very okay. Uh, can I ask you a question about the text to image part on the previous slide? So, uh, the one where the text pictures about the dog and his, like the captions, his his mom was so proud of him and the dog wants to. Oh. and inferences right and is like different from the original descriptions to images that we usually get mm -hmm. so then do you think is your plan to like keep stick on with those sentences to like create those images that require inference or are you going to try to more descriptive sentences to make a story that includes more background information such as like the dog like including the word the dog or like less like a story, but more descriptive. Mm -hmm. So one of the goal when I started this is um, using the abstract sentence instead of descriptive sentence. But abstract sentence is very, very hard, right? So I think if my game does not work very well, I will try to do what you said, doing the more descriptive or more of an attribute, and then transfer transitioning to discrete sentence and then transitioning to the abstract sentence. Yeah. Um, and, well, the most simplest data set that has this kind of story structure I know is like the Barbie data set. And I heard that it was originally created from like this kind of game test setting where you got characters and the character like moves into different rooms mm -hmm. and does different actions. So if you could like create your simple Said that does those kind of actions and has like visual images of each action and each environment, then maybe that could be the starting point, I guess. Okay, okay. All right. To the visual storytelling data set, uh, yeah. how how would you evaluate the uh, like generated sequences? Oh, okay. So one, the first one is obviously the human's eyes, but the second one is I think it was the improved techniques of end paper by OpenAI. I'm not sure, <laughs> but I think the fourth one they talk about like send ten tips on training again. One of them is evaluation, and it talks about putting the image through inception network and detecting the like objects. So the sentence would be, would have, for example, um, like, okay, so for example, mom, him, and the inception network will try to detect mom and him on this image. So that's one of the evaluations method, I think. Uh, my point was like, 
there's no one single sentence oh, that's really? like, like uh, corresponding to the sequences. So maybe your like, model generated another like very good story um, with the image and how it, and your original model can just uh, reject the generated sentence. But it, it can be still very abstract, but uh, very creative as well. Mm. Um, and um, like, do you have an idea of that? I will think about that actually. <laughs> yeah, thank you.